Welcome everybody, Nanky here, and it's time for an assault in sh <laughs> So that happened! But no, no, the rampage is just happening. And uh, I guess I've, uh, I've equipped a new, uh, the Sword and Shield because, you know, I figured I showed off pretty early on. I've given some the dog and Vanilla and Zero here some better gear sort of thing. And I guess I'll uh, try a Rampage because I don't want, I don't know if it'll like, go away if I leave it or not. We have an urgent quest to stop the Rampage. I've been enlisted as a defender. I can't wait. I don't get able to do this. Two of them. I thought I'd have to do all four, but I might as well give it a shot. Show that off. I was always planned, but I thought this would be the finale, but mm. I'm really starting to think that two minutes wasn't enough for this tea. But yeah, with me today, I've got, uh, which hopefully I'll get to try out during the Rampage, I've got a Goji Asai tea. Now, I've had this from a packet, and it's uh, Wittards no longer doing this stuff, but it's a Wittards tea. Uh, green tea. Brew time is only two minutes, but I had to search up all this information, because I can't find any proper information online, or at least through Bing. Uh, a sweet, sticky, fruit tea of Chinese origin, with roasted peel and raspberry pieces. This tea offers both a cleansing and mellow experience. And uh, hopefully you'll uh, help me out with this rampage. Well, when I actually get around to uh, trying it out. I've poured it. And like I said, it was only uh, supposed to be poured for two minutes. Looks a bit weak, but that's what they said it recommended. Two minutes only. Doesn't feel too hot. But there's nothing to fear. Yeah, that's all right. It's not very flavoursome. Ooh! No, it's already gone. Okay. That flavour kicks up after a while. Like, it's, uh... Doesn't happen very quickly. But, yeah, um... Mmm. Mmm. You drink it, there's not much flavour. It slowly builds up and it hits a nice crescendo. And then disappears almost immediately. It doesn't last very long. Um, so maybe more brew time would actually get that flavour to peak out, you know, uh, appear a bit more often. Uh, it disappears a bit too quickly, but, it's, you know, mellow is certainly a good way to describe it. It's a bit too weak, in my opinion, but it's never overwhelming, and it actually has a nice gradual build-up to it. That'd be good. It's been a while since I've used the Sword and Shield. I just figured I used the Sword and Shield at the start, with the beginning sort of thing, though I don't have any better gear than the, I guess, the Sword and Shield I just got now. Rampage Quest involved defending Kimura from waves of monsters, so a tower defense thing. As a fan of Dylan's Rolling Western, I hope I also, um, and uh, other games with tower defense elements, Hope I enjoy this. The ways of monsters attack during rampage. We call them hordes. We're coming from that direction. The horde will try to destroy the stronghold by breaking through these gates. These gates are what's keeping the monsters out of Kimura. And keep the monsters out of the gates and out of Kimura is why we're here. We fire the hordes of monsters using machinery developed specifically for this called hunting installations. Okay. Group of attacking monsters. Yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. They can free hordes. The exact number is indicated. Okay. At the end of each area is a gate blocking the entrance to the area. It loses durability as it is attacked. So, you know, much like a typical tower defense thing. Alright, first let's ready a ballista, one of many hunting installations. Select a ballista to be used on the installation platform when the village defenders blow up the air. I feel like this sort of stuff should have been explained before the, uh, you know, before the monsters arrive sort of thing. Not, you know, as they're approaching sort of thing. Hello. Okay. Has a limited shot. Yeah, okay. So I can't just rapid fire like mad. It's got extra ones like crag shot, guard, retreat shot. Okay, and that's also got a limit to it. Oh, and it's got a timer sort of thing. Okay, I like that. I do like seeing that pop up in games. Okay, guarding. Okay, that's just uh, putting anchor behind the attack. I was going to be good if I spin it around like that, but... <laughs> okay, now it's beginning. Oh, he's retreating. Awesome. That's nicely done. Oh, gosh. Forgot about that. Uh, Aramora appeared quicker than I was expecting. Okay, I'm assuming... Okay. Hello. Listen up. 
Okay, yeah. Ah, shouldn't have shot that then. Oh, but that worked. That's your major threat. Your account is it will boost Hunter's morale and great decree. Cancel it like during the rampage or by signing a counter gong. Okay, that was immediate. First hold repaired. Okay, do I need to? Oh no, rebuilt. Okay, and let's break for the next raid. Oh. As a stronger levels, you'll be able to use more powerful installations. Why don't you just give me him straight for a? We're all gonna die. <laughs> 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 monsters are inflicted standing up to increase the stronghold level. So go nuts. Press A near the to ready the dragon here. Then press A again to activate it. Once it's activated, gigantic spear will frustrate out. Time your attacks at the monster directly in front of it for maximum rate. It's a gnarly weapon, but it takes time before you can fire again. If you don't want to wait, you can use a power kin to speed up the process. They can even use haste and repair times for destroying the heat. I'm not letting They're coming! Have a taste of my long sword! Hey, don't worry about it. Oh, that... That didn't last long. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, no, no! Ah. Cannon. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Take this guy. He's a bit too close for comfort, I'll be honest. Save. Okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, awesome. Dragon air. Okay. Got that to work. You can play some artillery again. Okay. Oh, you're taking a while to kill. Main objective complete. Okay. Wait, that was it? The Great Woggy was the thing I had to worry about? Okay, and uh, only the Great Woggy. Okay. I think I've hunted enough Great Woggies, so. Heck, the Sword and Shield made out of Great Woggy, I'm pretty sure. Which I never actually got a chance to show off at all, but like I said, I'm a big fan of uh, Dylan's Rolling Western, which is part tower defense sort of game, and there's a few other uh, tower, well, tower, games of tower defense mechanics in, or tower defense style of games. There's, uh, was it Lost in Town and Lost in Jungle? Uh, the uh, zombie sort of games by Circle on the 3DS eShop, which you know probably won't be about soon, and DSi Store. Those were uh, those were a ton of fun, and I'm a big fan of Dylan's Rolling Wrestling series, as I said. We're sending the children out to fight, defend the town. Oh, is that the was it Magma Mallow? Is that it? the big? Well, that's not a key cat. Like I've heard the big sort of like bosses kind of almost cat like. Oh yeah, okay, it's resembling more of a cat now. No offense, if you saw that and you thought, yeah, we can take it, you are horribly mistaken. Can't believe it, you guys, leave me behind. What the heck? <laughs> also, wait, a monster that strong just can't just like rip through that mountain side there? Poor Azeroth, he didn't stand a chance. Yeah, Magnamalo. Magnamalo. Oh, Magnamalo. I mean, it's a pretty creative way to uh, go about having the monster sort of feeding pants or thing. It's 
you know, it's kind of like how, you know, dragons don't make sense biology in basis of, you know, just how, you know, given the size they're often depicted, just how much they'd have to eat to survive. But something like the Magnamalo here, having that sort of concept of like a horde sort of, uh, if such a regular outbreak happened, feeding on that one time. Don't worry about me. Slay Magnamalo for us. <laughs> oh yeah, not, not any high protection, uh, uh, high expectations, is it? Also, his neck has got like neighing across her face there. <laughs> Hooray! My allies are two children! <laughs> yes, sir, children! It's never too early to die! No, oh, that's happening so adorable! It's a bunny rabbit! Nunko, good luck in there. Thanks for everything. Kimura's emerged from this relatively unscathed. But things are gonna get real hairy now that we've got Magmamalo on our hands. Like I was telling you back at the stronghold, the feeling showed his ugly face during the rampage 50 years back. All hands just about lost his neck trying to stop it from taking the village, and now it's reared its ugly head again. Now get the safety of Kimura is in your hands. Well, it's nice that it's not like a world-ending threat sort of thing. Because, like, you know, it's that constant scaling up sort of thing. It's like, it'll eat a lot. Um, it attacked our village. Kind of inconvenient. I know, there's something I should tell you about. I've devised a special new technique to upgrade weapons in order to further bear our chances. I call it ramping up, using materials from Rampage to enhance weapons far more than any means would be capable. Okay, that's neat. So, from what I've heard, basically, uh, those main hub things over there, I shouldn't have been doing those on my own. Yeah, sort of thing. The rampage changes every time you sell on a quest. This includes standard quests. The rewards you obtain from a rampage depend. So you can just do random pages at random. Okay. Didn't think there'd be multiple of those. But yeah, so like uh, you know, I've you know, I've been doing those uh, hub progress quests way sooner than I should have. I should be focusing on just the village one. So that's what I'll do for a while. But maybe uh, by episode twelve, given you know the rampage was going to be my send off thing, and there's only part ten, and I usually do twelve episodes with these Solden starts now. So uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this and wish to and uh, hope to keep up to date with the next episode, the uh, next couple more episodes of the Monster Hunter Rise playthrough here. So, uh, cheerio!